everyone, PNG's Fabricare brand Ariel has launched the seventh edition of Share the Load campaign called Home Team. To tell us more about this, on the sidelines of the campaign launched, we are joined in by Mukta Maheshwari of PNG India. She is speaking to us about the journey of Share the Load campaign so far, her taking charge as the CMO of PNG India, their key priorities and media investments for 2024 and much more. Mukta, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you, Shivani. Mukta, uh, let's just begin with the Share the Load campaign, Home Team this time. Tell us more on how did you arrive upon the concept and how did you, uh, you know, come up with this story or this narrative this time round? Yeah, Shivani, you know, stranger to what Ariel stands for, right? Our mission as a brand, our vision as a brand is to drive equality at home. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the journey we started nine years ago with the first Share the Load campaign. Um, you've, you've been part of the journey, you've seen the journey through. It started All the with, campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> it started with asking the question, basic question, should laundry only be a woman's job? Woman's job, job that's right. Um, the that's important that's thing, that's if you that's want that's to that's continue that's to that's represent that's the voice that's of that's uh, consumer and if you want to drive the societal shift is for you to be aware of what the conversation in the society is happening. Um, I, I, I will share a data point. Um, about nine years ago when we started the campaign, 75% of men would believe that laundry was only a woman's job. Only 25% of them today believe that laundry is only a woman's job. Great progress, right? But is that enough? Um, Still, women do not feel the equality at home. Um, I think 79% of the women still call back and check with their partners when they're away on how things are happening at home or to be able to guide them. So that, that, that means there's something left to be done. Um, while the physical load, we've seen great progress in the mindset on sharing the physical load. Um, as as the world uh, evolves, or India evolves, um, today we have 25% women in the workforce. And that percentage is growing by 8%. Each day. Yeah. And um, if women truly, truly have to contribute and make a significant impact in the world outside the home, they need to feel confident that their home is fully protected or fully covered when they are away. Um, so we shifted this year's focus to focus on the mental load that women carry while the physical load is being taken care of. They're still running that list which runs into pages and pages uh, into what needs to be done at home. Mm. The intent is to drive shared responsibility. The intent is to drive uh, ownership, mm. equal partnership. Uh, the conversation we are having, right? At work, collectively as a team, we end up achieving things way beyond our imagination. Mm. Why don't we bring that concept home? Yeah. The home is a much better, stronger family when we operate as one team. That's right, that's right. And Mukta, this is incidentally also your first share the load after taking charge. Uh, tell us more, how do you look at this entire journey, you know, over the nine years of this share the load campaign? It's an absolutely amazing love mark for PNG India, mm. uh, recognized world over, uh, not just within PNG, uh, globally as one of the most sustained um, cause campaigns. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why it has stood this test of time and why everyone touching this is so passionate about it, um, and this is unwavering, because it is rooted in what truly the brand stands for. Mm -hmm. The functional job that the brand stands for is superior cleaning and convenience no matter what. It does not matter who does the laundry, Ariel will give impeccable results. That's, the, that's what the brand functionally stands for. Emotionally, what the brand stands for is driving equality at home. Mm -hmm. And that's not changed. And hence the campaign's not changed. It is, it is amazing to be part of this movement and to try to move that voice forward, mm -hmm. to evolve us as a brand, to mm -hmm. drive that conversation in the society, to mm -hmm. try and undo so many unconscious biases, mm -hmm. which um, very difficult to otherwise turn around, mm -hmm. but for constant conversation around. Mm -hmm. So this purpose, this belief for us is not seasonal or once in a while. It is something we truly believe as a brand. Mm -hmm. um, for us, it's not an afterthought. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is really what the brand is. Mm -hmm. um, the, the intent is every year when we look at our journey, we, uh, we do have something called deep listening, mm -hmm. which we with the BBDO team uh, try and 
understand the conversations, uh, conversations happening around uh, this particular concept. What do the world statistics, Indian statistics uh, say about and then come to a place of what the hidden truth is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure as a working professional, um, Shivani, you will agree. Like I, I to me personally, mm -hmm. this is, uh, this is so close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm really living a share the load life. Uh, <laughs> I have just moved from Singapore and it's just me who's moved. Yeah. My family is still in Singapore. I have two very young children. Uh, I would never in my dreams have taken this leap if I didn't feel, if my husband did not inspire the confidence that my home team is one solid team. Wow. Um, so I, I just feel very, very strongly about this. Now, now, having said that, you know, we have seen some purpose-led iconic campaigns, you know, uh, from PNG over the past many years that discuss gender roles, address uh, gender stereotypes, whether it is, of course, the share the load uh, campaign. Then uh, there is a whisper, keep girls in school campaign. Uh, being a woman now in charge of marketing, how do you intend to take these initiatives forward, going forward? Again, um, these uh, these values, shared values with the consumers that uh, PNG brands stand for, have been um, the PNG brands have been working on it through years, mm -hmm. and it is not just about creating a film. Let's you touched upon um, Keep Girls in School mm -hmm. on Whisper. That's the Whisper flagship program, and it's, it's so much more beyond um, just the film. Mm -hmm. uh, Whisper is uh, Whisper pa participates in uh, period education in school. Um, and not now. I, I, I recall my young sister. Uh, she benefited from being part of the whisper keeping the whisper education. I mean, I, we were young. We didn't know that that's there is a mammoth exercise that goes behind getting that education to us. But uh, so many young girls learn and benefit from the right period education. What to expect? Um, if we can, in our little way, help. Um, Preventing the dip in confidence that young girls have at puberty. Um, I think the school outreach program is one great example from Whisper where we do that. We work with um, government agencies in a, in a lot of cases to, um, to influence what level of education should be involved. So there is a lot more work that goes beyond just, uh, just a film, right? Um, and um, we, we, we run programs where we donate pads. Um, to girls who are underprivileged. So a full program, Shivan, is we walk the talk when it yeah. comes to supporting these causes. Purpose has been a hot topic for almost every FMCG mm -hmm. brand. And you know, everyone, every single brand out there wants to articulate their social cause in front of the consumer. Uh, why not simply make a sale? Why attach a social cause, uh, you know, to the product? Why is it so important? I think the difference between a, a product and a brand hmm. is a brand has a persona, hmm. a brand has fundamental beliefs. Hmm. Um, and I'll take the example of Ariel. Uh, the fundamental belief that Ariel has is we will make the best products hmm. which will help give the best laundry results no matter what the condition is, no matter who does the laundry. Hmm. That is what we truly believe as, uh, as a brand to make the product. The, uh, the emotional aspect of the brand is the brand is a partner for women's progress. Mm. The brand, is, the brand uh, truly believes that if women progress, uh, societies progress. The brand believes that women are the backbone of society. And we, we have taken the, we are committed to being part of that progress in our little way. Mm. So it, it does not come it is not a forced purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, it truly, because the brand is that, mm -hmm. uh, that's the fundamental belief of the brand to drive gender equality at home so that women can progress, so the societies can progress. Mm -hmm. um, I think to, to the question uh, you were asking, why, why attach a purpose to any brand? Today, consumers do demand more from their brands. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, as I said, they're buying brands. They want you to stand for something. And um, brands as big as us, uh, we should definitely use our voice to drive change, change for the better.
Well, this conversation will continue for now. It is time for a short break. You don't go anywhere. We will be right back.